Smith Station, Alabama is where I call home and it's an amazing community rich in history and heritage. The city just recently reopened their historic Jones Store Museum and Landing Library. The building dates back to around 1887 and Mayor Copeland had a major role in executing the vision of it being restored. A lot of people didn't realize the Smith Station had a history. They just thought we were a bedroom community, a stop on a railroad map. But actually, we have a very rich history, and uh, I wanted to make sure we accomplished every part of history, whether what every facet of life, every race, and I wanted to tell their, their stories of people that may not know, like Melinda Coke or E.L. Devereaux or so on and so forth. Uh, it just means a lot that to try to actually have a place for us to put something. You know, Phoenix City doesn't have a museum, and uh, we do, and, and so it, we're just building onto this complex, and it'll be called the Jones Store Complex. It'll have a pavilion, a bathroom, so on and so forth, a place for people to come and enjoy their heritage. The museum houses a wide spectrum of artifacts unique to Smith Station's rich history. I went to go check it out and was given the privilege to be given a personal tour by the mayor of Smith Station, Bubba Copeland. I had no idea that country singer Conway Twitty, famous for his 1970 hit Hello Darling, attended Smith Station schools. His estate even donated a gold record to the museum. And that's the depot. This is this uh, Mullins. They have, we have a road in Smith Station named after them. We donated land to the first African American church as well as the first Caucasian church in Smith Station. We did our walk last week from the first church of Mount Olive to here. So was that the church? The Unity Inn. What? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this is uh, E.O. Debro. After desegregation, he was the first principal of the school. He was a principal of Wacoochee School, and then it desegregated. And that's Miss Melinda Coker, probably one of the coolest people we have in here on the bottom. She was a midwife. Her and Mr. Jones worked together, and Mr. She would give she the children would come into the world. She would cut the little corn. She was a midwife, and Mr. Jones' pictures to your right. He would drive her there, and he was the vet that had to do surgery if somebody had a complication. Didn't have a doctor. She brought all the babies in the world. And the coolest story is we have two council members that she brought into the world. I was always taught that you will never know where you are going if you don't know where you are from. Reporting from Smith Station, Alabama, I'm Nicole Jones. And you can visit the Jones Store Museum for a guided tour from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesdays and Thursdays when guests arrive. They're asked to call 334-297-8771 to set up a tour, which will be conducted by a city official. Well, the